everybody welcome back to Caroline's closet it is time for another what sold this weekend uh, it's Saturday morning it's not a bad start to the weekend I do have several jewelry sales from yesterday's YouTube sale and just kind of a random assortment of other stuff so here we go okay so not a whole lot going out today uh, I'll get through it in one fell swoop do you want to say Today is day one for me of a new weight loss challenge. 30 pounds in six months is my goal. I have another 30 to lose after that, but I figured I'd stick to a realistic goal. So 30 pounds in the next six months, starting right now. So wish me luck and just know that this is just gonna get a little bit smaller. I'll still be the same person. You guys can still love me. I'm just gonna get a little bit smaller. So it's coming. Um, and I might get crankier. We'll see. Anyway, um, first up is this Ekaterina New York clutch. It is just a nice little silver tone. Long, big, night out clutch. I accepted an offer of $20 plus shipping on eBay for that. Two Poshmark sales going out today. One is this pack of three Maybelline Baby Lips, sold for, I sent an offer of $11, so I gave the shipping discount, I get like five bucks back in my pocket, all leftovers from last year's Maybelline uh, wholesale lot, so. And then also on Poshmark, these heels sold for $15, which was my asking price, I had just dropped the price on them. They are pretty much new, and they are just fun queen chateau heels with the little pearls. Uh, $15 plus shipping on those. And then on my small eBay account, I have this Avon butterfly necklace, which is just a little girl's small size necklace. I sent a $4.50 offer. I think I was asking like six bucks. They countered with a $3 offer. It's plus shipping and it was the first interest I had had in it. So I accepted it, $3 for that. And then this is a coach dog collar, a large leather dog collar. This sold for $54.67 uh, with free shipping. My cost in it is about $20, so it's not huge um, when it comes to profit, but it's a sale, and that's what matters. I mean, it's still $20 profit. It's not, not huge. It's better than the $3 Avon necklace. So. And then, yeah, that's it other than the jewelry. So, Devin uh, Moonstone Mamas purchased this three-pack of bracelets and these fun dangly tin earrings from yesterday's jewelry sale. Most of this stuff is paid, some of it's not, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it off anyway. This is a sterling silver ring sold to Kristen, thank you very much. And then we have, this pile is all going to Phyllis, and some of these were from yesterday's sale and some were from the previous uh, week's $8 sale which I just so happened had not done anything with yet, so I still had the items. But she got these fun Nature earrings. Nature is the brand, I guess. It's marked on there. And then a J. Crew bracelet. Another bracelet that I could not identify the maker of, but a fun faux pearl vintage bracelet. A nice little gemstone stretch bead bracelet. A sodalite, I believe, uh, gemstone necklace. This is my favorite. This is probably my favorite of everything that um, was in yesterday's sale, so she snatched it up. It is a uh, scarab bracelet with little gemstone scarabs all the way around a pair of kate spade earrings and then a this was another one of my favorites phyllis you have good taste um a little 
mermaid sterling silver quartz necklace. So those are all going to Phyllis, and thank you very much for that. And then Angela also picked out some pretty awesome things. This Brighton bracelet was one of my favorites. I was going to be really surprised if that did not sell. She also got this... I thought there was something in there. Trifari, like, pine cone brooch. This set, it's got two earrings hiding behind my number there. A brooch and two earrings. Two earrings. A pair of earrings, because there's normally two in a pair. And then this Amy Khan Russell bracelet. It's just a metallic strand. Kind of unique, fun. And then also this Ross... Simmons, it's Russell Simmons, Ross Simmons necklace, sterling silver with the little diamond chips, probably CZ. So those are all going to Angela. And I think that is everything so far going out today. So I will definitely be back to show you any, if anything else else. Okay, it is Monday. First, I want to share with you, one of you had an issue with one of the packages I shipped a week ago where half of it ended up missing. I had two baggies, each with six pieces of jewelry in them inside a priority mail small box, and it arrived smashed and with a rubber band around it, and only one of the two baggies was inside. So I did my first ever claim with the post office. I have done like missing package requests to have them hunt for packages. It's never come up with anything. But those were all first class items and international first class and a media mail item. Three times I have done it and they didn't have insurance on them. So when they came back and couldn't find anything, there was really nothing I could do. This one was priority mail. It had insurance. So I filed my first ever actual insurance claim because this was a YouTube sale, I had just gone through PayPal, so it didn't have like the eBay protections or anything that you get otherwise. Um, but anyway, I got home Saturday and had a check for $45 in the mailbox from the post office. Um, they had just taken the pictures that I sent them that uh, you sent to me and um, asked me in the request how much I was requesting picked $45 because that covered my replacement costs for the new pieces I sent out plus the second shipping. It was easy. It was like five days after I submitted the claim. I got a check in the mail for $45. So thank you post office. I appreciate that. I was expecting much more of a hassle. Wasn't sure what to expect. But this is the new stuff I have going out today. So, let's start with Poshmark. I have another one of my binoculars. Still about 40-some, 50s. I don't even know how many are left. Still a lot of these left from my Via Trading palettes last year. That sold for $10 uh, plus shipping, and I sent an offer, so they get the discount. I only get like $4.90 something back in my pocket. But I'm just so glad to get rid of another one of those. Also on Poshmark, this pair of Bermuda shorts, Morona, Morona boyfriend shorts, size 12. Those sold also for an offer I sent, $10 with the shipping discount, um, but those were given to me from one of my neighbors, so no cost there. And then also on Poshmark are these fun trendsetter is the brand boots. These came in a thread up shoe box like last November, last October, sometime back then. So they sat. I figured they would go over the winter months, but no, summer, that's fine too. $20, that was my full asking price. I think I had just dropped them down from $24 this last week. So 
$20 plus shipping on those. Then we have Mercari. These three rolls of Mega um, toy block tape. Can't say Lego, but it's made, it's compatible with Legos, even though I can't use that term. These got removed on Amazon and on eBay, even though I did not use the term Lego in my description. Both listings got removed, so they were only up on Mercari, sold finally for $7 plus shipping on those, and I've had them for over a year. And then also on Mercari, I have this Go Donut phone or tablet stand. Uh, this was just a, like a Walmart clearance item that I spent a buck on. Also sold for $7 on Mercari. And I have a couple more of those. And then also on Mercari, the final one for Mercari, this little hummingbird brooch. It is Avon. And it was $8 with free shipping. What I like to do and what I often do with my cheap jewelry is on weeks or days when I just have not been listing like I should, I pull out some of the cheaper jewelry and I just snap quick pictures and throw them up on Mercari for a low price just to be able to say that I listed enough to pretend to have been productive that day. So that was only listed on Mercari. I listed it Saturday right before I left and it actually just sold right before I started doing this video. So there's that. Then on my smaller eBay account, I did sell my weekly jewelry box, $26.08. Darcy, I, I think you bought it. I'm pretty sure. I think I saw you were the winner or at least I saw your name as one of the bidders. But if you did buy it, thank you very much. It'll ship out today. 2608 plus shipping. Uh, if you're watching, I just posted a craft lot, but it's not near as good as the last craft lot. I mean, it's it's not as junky as what some people would throw in a craft lot, but it's just not one that I got excited about. So you can look at the pictures. You can decide for yourself. I did not uh, list it as a crafter's dream lot like I did the last one because I think I would be disappointed with that title if I got it. So just throwing that out there. Somebody will like it. A lot of fun pieces for crafting, but not not my favorite. But it will be the last craft lot that I do in a while. So, okay. Um, also on my small eBay account, I sold a lot of children's books. There's actually 19 of them. I just can't hold them all at one time. But they are vintage, best in children's books. They have like eight to ten different stories in each one and there's 19 of these and I sent a $35 offer with free media mail shipping so the shipping's only gonna be like seven eight bucks even though it's a pretty heavy box um, so those went and then this which is just adorable this little teddy bear it's a ring oops I tried wearing him for a while to see if I could have something that clunky on my finger, and I just can't. It bothers me. And plus, this one bothered me because, like, you want to wear it so that for other people to see it looks right side up. But every time I'm typing or something, I just see this upside down teddy bear, and it drove me crazy. And if I turn it around, then it just looks like an upside down teddy bear whenever I'm naturally holding my arms down and look silly. So I just couldn't get on board with him. Plus he's a little big even on my middle finger. He's kind of floppy. And, but anyway, I knew somebody would love him. I love him. He's cute. And he sold for $8 plus shipping on eBay. I sent that offer. Then I also sent an $8 offer on this skirt and it is just faith and joy size 3x stretchy kind of a wannabe lularoe type 
material pretty coral pink skirt eight dollars plus shipping on that and then we have my main ebay account which was all jewelry this weekend so this is silpata and it is sterling silver with gold filled little spacer beads balls in there short necklace this one sold, I accepted an offer of $50 for that with free shipping. And then J. Crew necklace. And this one I'd had listed for quite some time. Let's see if I can get the color to show up a little better. It's a little darker than what you're seeing there, but kind of close. Um, sold for my full asking price, $19.67. And then this one, this is David Yerman. And this is the second time I have found and sold one of these. So I just want to share. I could not find anything, any like nylon David Yerman bracelets the first time I got one. I finally reached out to the company because nobody would fake something that doesn't exist right so i was very intrigued by it because nobody's gonna come out and have a fake david yearman bracelet that doesn't match an existing david yearman bracelet and it's just a nylon cord with the silver ends it does have the dy hang, hang tag there but it turns out it was a free gift promotion a couple christmases ago that with the purchase of one of their like thousand dollar expensive bracelets or anything from their store, you got one of these free. So that's what it was. I auctioned it off both times. This one I think I started at, I don't know if I started it at $19.99 or $9.99. But anyway, it got several bids. It went for $27 plus shipping. So there's that, and so if you find anything that looks like a nylon cord that says Dave and Yearman on it, can't find anything out about it, most likely it's genuine. I don't know why anybody would fake the free gifts that they offer. Um, and yeah, it was just a promotional goodie, so it's not going to make you hundreds of bucks, but they do sell. The buyer of this one actually sent a message uh, with it and said it's free for her daughter. She's going to be thrilled to own a David Yearman, even if it's this. So, uh, that'll go out today. And I think that is everything. So everybody that purchased jewelry from the YouTube sale did pay. So if it didn't go out Saturday, that's going out today as well. And I have a jewelry unboxing that I did on Saturday that I will post probably tomorrow. And then I have another one to do. And then I ordered a lot from smallerlots.com. Uh, to try out for hopefully to vamp up my Amazon store because I have not been listing anything on Amazon worth anything lately and it's showing in the sales so I wanted to try out a new avenue for good Amazon merchandise so I want to crack into that box probably today I'll film it and then post it whenever sometime this week you'll get to see that so Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and stay tuned for some more fun videos. Bye everybody.